I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca, and here is your weather on demand forecast. We'll have these a little annoying sprinkles or very light rain showers continuing to press on here. Another little band going through, if I can even call it that, through Marquette County, also Barraga, and now moving off uh, shore, eastern, uh, rather east of Keweenaw County, but this will tra gradually track to the east and notice our flow is continuing to come from the southwest as the low pressure system actually right over Lake Superior now that's why our winds are fairly calm but they will increase throughout the day tomorrow as the low departs and moves off to the north and east so you can see though that some of this rain is going to continue just to backwash in throughout the night and throughout the day tomorrow and unfortunately a little bit on Tuesday especially uh, in the eastern UP as well. As far as temperatures go today, we were below average once again because of all the cloud cover. 53 degrees was our high temperature at the Weather Service. 42 though, finally doing something right there. At least all the cloudy uh, conditions are keeping our temperatures pretty steady, at least overnight. Uh, unfortunately, it's a far cry from our 90 record-breaking high. You see that in 02, we had 25 for the low, but now 9.25 for the sunset. Well, all in all, so far through three weeks, it has been a cool and wet May. As a matter of fact, we haven't really seen skies like this. Just take a minute to uh, look at some blue skies, see what they look like. So far, four and a half degrees below average for the month. And that's through uh, today, the 21st. And get this, no 70 degree highs as of yet. Last time we did that, May of 2008, so nine years ago, and it is actually pretty rare, even though our high temperatures Average highs are not 70, they are 64 right now, and they don't even get 70 until June, but still we typically see those a few 70s at least by this time in the month. You can see now this cool pocket, exactly where I showed you where the low is, continuing to drag cool Canadian air, uh, filtering it in our direction. 52 is going for us in Sawyer and Green Bay, but 40s, International Falls and in central Minnesota, even on the other side of the lake. But there is some warming off farther west there, mid-60s in Bismarck, so that is a good sign, especially towards the middle of the week. Unfortunately, though, it's going to take a little bit for it to get here. Now, tracking this out for you on Future View, light rain showers, really just more like pesky little things, especially if you're driving on the roadways, as they'll, uh, especially with all that spittle coming up on the cars. That's probably the most uh, disturbance we'll have to deal with. Other than that though, watch where the low goes off to the north and east and it's going to drag this little disturbance through us tomorrow afternoon and so that's why we're going to keep the rain showers in very light though and we will get a break. Notice I put cloudy skies here especially later on uh, in the day on Monday but notice that we will have the uh, some cooler air start to filter on in Monday night into Tuesday but that will be momentary before we finally get some warmer May-like weather for middle to end of the week and uh, we, some nice temperatures here in your sixth day. So not a, lot, a whole lot of rain to show you. Overnight tonight which you can see up to two tenths of an inch and mainly the central having a hard time picking up a lot more rainfall and off to the east as well about that uh, 19 hundredths of an inch but you will see those rain showers continue throughout the day tomorrow on and off but the heaviest of the rain is already done. High temperatures though ranging from low 50s north, upper 50s south, and optimistic seeing a few peaks of sunshine, particularly in the middle of the afternoon. The uh, power of the May sun should break up a little bit of the clouds and warm things up to right around 60, especially across the south central. Now your TV six day forecast stays gloomy and actually rainy through at least Tuesday. For the eastern UP, uh, same thing early Wednesday morning. Didn't include a rain icon there, but still want to say that. And also that cloudy skies trend through Wednesday. Thursday, though, we begin to enter a new pattern as we creep towards Memorial Day weekend, 60s by Friday, and really a beautiful weekend. How about close to 70 by Saturday?